Hi guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out my video. My name is Ruthie and I just completed a project that I thought would be a fun share for anyone and everyone that loves kitty cats. So just a little backstory, my son recently rescued a kitty cat and named her Nova. And I have absolutely fallen in love with little Nova. Um, I've never had a cat, I didn't grow up around kitty cats, so the whole cat experience is new to me. But one thing I notice about Nova when she comes to visit is that she loves to sit on the windowsill and observe the outdoor life. The butterflies, the birds, the cars passing by. But every time I take her outside, she gets so irritated because she wants me to put her down so that she can roam and experience the outdoor life all on her own. But it's just too dangerous and I'm just so afraid she's going to get out of the yard or something and I would just feel awful. But it was something I really wanted to do. So then I started researching possible materials or products that I could buy so that I could build her a catio. And I found one. So once I determined the size and shape that I wanted to make my catio, I knew I needed to order a 6 cube, a 9 cube, and a 12 cube in order to have enough material to complete the project. Each order comes with 14 by 14 inch black painted metal grids, plastic connectors, and a wooden mallet. The plastic connectors are very cool, allowing you to reconfigure the cube to many shapes and sizes. Each connector is capable of supporting eight metal grids at the same time. So like I said, each order comes with a wooden mallet, but you know, I didn't find it useful at all. Instead, I used needle nose pliers to help snap together the grid and connectors when my fingers were unable. Speaking of snapping, you need to hear or feel the snap when you connect each metal grid to the connector. If you don't, keep working it until you do. The structure will be unbelievably strong if everything is snapped together properly. And because I wanted to make this strong structure even stronger, I incorporated a few extras. Zip ties, they are not included with the order. I found these great interlocking floor mats at Hobby Lobby, 12 inch by 12 inch, and they fit just perfectly in the catio. My husband made the catio safe so that it doesn't topple over by securing it in a few different places. So I installed two doors in the catio. Put one here. use magnets to keep it closed. Really cool. Top and bottom. And I installed the second one down here. And what I did was I built the entire catio first and then decided where I wanted the doors. I then used wire cutters to cut the metal grids out and then I sanded the sharp edges and what I did was I got a new grid and I secured it with zip ties and it work, works just great.
I'm so happy with the catio. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.